After the collections, we start planning our stories for the next three months. This Maybe we could lose. Might... I really believe in her, so I'm really hoping she's going to work out. There's a lot of steps in the process for each story, but at the end, the sittings editor, she's the one on set creating the visuals. I mean, there could be many different sort of angles of why something doesn't work. If it's a winner, then it will be in the March issue. And if it's a winner, <laughs> then it won't be in the issue. Okay, she says that. My name's Tabitha Simmons, and we're on a two-day extravaganza shooting Flower Power for the March issue. We probably have around 30 people on set. We have about five models. Then you have your hair, your makeup, the styling team, a tailor. And it's just important to have everybody ready at the same time, so you need a big team in order to kind of make everything happen. It's a modern shape. OK, let's take a picture of you in that. There is a sort of uber standard here at Vogue that we, and we want to make great pictures and tell great stories. I mean, that's sort of our job. OK, let's put the skirt on. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen occasionally that a shoot comes in and it's just, it just didn't work for various reasons. And typically, we just won't run those pictures. It's always a little bit hairy in the beginning because it's always that first initial, is the hair and makeup right? Is this right? And, you know, and it takes a little bit of time on the first day. First day is always, always tough. For me, it's always the, the toughest day. And then I feel like a little bit here on the collar. Sometimes I'm just going to put some safety pins, because it has to be like right then, you know? Sometimes I stitch the girls inside the dress. And then let's try this one on, too. Everyone arrived, and we started to prep them all and get them ready. So we did, like, skin and, you know, the basics. And we left some of the color off, like the lip, to decide what she was going to wear. So we bring them in the morning, and then we take them to set. I don't want quite a modern set just because it was very sort of fragmented flowers on the runway and the shapes were very strong. So I want to keep that element. They look so good. I love these. You can have Suvi and then Fefe is right behind you. Where is she? I think it's always a slow start when you're doing groups because you have to find hair and makeup that looks good on one girl doesn't necessarily look good on another. It takes time to find the light right. And also when you're involving a set, and so it takes time to get the groups right. It's three o'clock. Are we going to be in overtime? Oh, my God. We still haven't got any pictures. OK, just bring a really coloured nail and then just paint it on set yep. as fast as possible. Where's the other Dior? Come on, feel the music. Hey, come on, feel the music. What happened to the light? Because we had really nice light earlier. Can I just lift this up so then you've got this before we... I think that looks better. And the hair looks great when it's blown like that. Don't move. Style. It is very, like, structured shapes. It's not like hippie flowers at all. It's like fractured, printed flowers. That looks nice, actually. Um, we had a rocky start. But um, once everybody got into the groove and it's gone much smoother the second day. I'm a, I'm, I, am, I am happy, so we'll see. <laughs> Lip looks great, Mark. Now you look less like about 12. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Look, it's beautiful like that. <laughs> Hi, thanks, girls. Done. Oh, oh, we got a picture! <laughs> and it's a wrap. Yeah. The images are coming in today. In an issue like this, I think it's so important, obviously, with March. We get the first peek at the images from the Flower Power shoot. Um, Richie and Freddie. OK. I think the most exciting thing is, you know, sort of seeing it all come to life. These are all the pictures. I worry about that. Absolutely. 